Hi guys, welcome back to the Museum of Military Artifacts. Today we're going to briefly touch on the M4 Sherman tank. The M4 was the main battle tank for the Canadian, British, and U.S. forces in Europe. Produced in large numbers, the provided armored support for the Allied troops invading Italy and France. Although not as heavily armored as the German tanks, they were maneuverable, easy to repair, and outnumbered their opponents. So this is what it looks like close up. Now we're going to be talking about the Corvette K158 HCMS Saskatoon. The Corvette provided the backbone of the Royal Canadian Navy convoy escort across the Atlantic. It was small, slow, and underground it was incredibly cold and very uncomfortable for the crew. The Corvette's main feature was that they could be built in quantity in small Canadian shipyards. The Corvette was steam-powered with a top speed about the same as the U-boats they were chasing and with a smaller gun than their submarine oppo opponents. It was still a welcome presence to the unarmed merchant vessels in the convoy. Now we're talking about the TR-9D radio transmitter slash receiver. The TR-9D was used in Royal Air Force fighter aircraft such as the Hurricane and Spitfire early in the Battle of Britain. The radio provided communication between aircrafts and ground control stations. This allowed the coordination of the interception of incoming German bombers. The quality of voice communication was terrible and range of the radio was relatively short, typically 40 to 50 kilometers, but still infinitely better than no radio, radio at all, which had been the case in World War I. Now we're talking about the leather flight suit. World War II aircrafts were not heated, so with temperatures often below negative 50 degrees Celsius at high altitudes, pilots and flight crew needed good protection from the cold. Their sheepskin lined leather flight suit was the first line of defense against the frigid drafts. Thick sweaters, wool pants, long underwear, and thigh-high socks topped with lined boots and thick gloves completed the ensemble.